An Indian Air Force fighter jet accidentally released a dummy bomb near the Pokhran firing range in Rajasthan following a technical glitch, and there was no damage to life or property. General Atomics has demonstrated its Mojave short takeoff and landing drone with dual-mounted DAP-6 gun pod system. Indian Navy is all set to begin discussions with Japanese Navy, for an agreement to allow Japanese warships to undergo repair and maintenance in India. Electronics Corporation of India Limited is developing an indigenous autonomous underwater vehicle called Flatfish, which can carry a payload of 600 kilograms. US Air Force has floated a light stealth fighter concept, as it is considering a delay or cancellation of its heavy sixth-generation fighter program. Brazil's Embraer has offered its C-195E2 aircraft to Hindustan Aeronautics and Mohindra, for domestic production for the regional market. The chairman of Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has said, that Indian Navy has recently cleared the Type 214 submarine after a thorough evaluation, and he expressed optimism about securing the order for the Project 75i. According to latest media reports, French firm Dassault Aviation's proposal to take full ownership of Dassault Reliance Aerospace Limited for Rafale aircraft manufacturing in India, has encountered resistance from the Indian Ministry of Defence. Dassault Aviation wants 100% ownership to have absolute control over the supply chain within India, that would enable it to guarantee the quality of Rafale fighter jets produced in India. Dassault Aviation has also argued, that if Dassault Reliance Aerospace Limited continues to be controlled by Reliance Defence, the export customers would prefer that their orders to be fulfilled from France. Despite Dassault's assurances, the Defence Ministry remains unconvinced that Dassault Aviation will be able to adhere to the mandated 75% local sourcing of components and equipment for the jets to be built in India, and it fears that this could merely result in an assembly plant that will be dependent on kits supplied by French facilities. Granting Dassault the full ownership could also mean that the funds allocated for the transfer of technology would primarily benefit Dassault and few Indian private sector companies, which raises concerns about the actual technological and industrial benefits to the broader Indian defence sector. The negotiations are ongoing, that will have far-reaching implications for the future of Rafale production in India, as well as the broader Indo-French defence partnership. After the deployment of Phase 1 BMD system, and the recent successful testing of Phase 2 BMD system, the DRDO is now advancing to BMD Phase 3, that will see the development of two new interceptor missiles known as ADAH and ADAM, that will be capable of neutralizing hypersonic glide vehicles and hypersonic cruise missiles. The two new interceptor missiles are in the initial stages of research and development and developmental testing is expected to start in the next four years. The AMCA's frontal shaping will bear a striking resemblance to that of the American F-35, which is one of the most advanced stealth fighters in the world, and this design choice suggests that India is prioritizing stealth in the development of its next-generation fighter. If India's radar-absorbent material paint technology is on par with that of the United States, the AMCA could potentially achieve a frontal radar cross-section comparable to the F-35. A Bangalore-based startup Magic Mina has launched its Mini Tricks for Mortar Shell Drop System, that is capable of delivering payloads carrying up to 460mm ammunition, or 282mm mortar ammunition. It features advanced algorithm that accurately determines the impact area of the mortar shells. The Munitrix 4 also incorporates a jammer jamming system to counter electronic warfare threats, and the ground station is equipped with encryption software to safeguard against external interference. Today's top 3 comments.